Hey everybody, my name is Marissa. I'm the new Makerspace Manager at First Build. Basically my job is to help you all with your projects and getting accustomed to the resources we have available for everybody. And so today what I'm going to be doing is walking you through the process of how to use the Universal Laser Cutter. This is our maker space and our laser is the most used tool from our community members and you may know how to use it, but today I'm going to show you how to use ours. I'm going to be taking a picture of a butterfly and etching and cutting it out on wood. So let's go do it. So I found this image. It is a PNG file. I found it on the internet. and so. Before I could do anything, I needed to transfer it over to our Adobe Illustrator software. So I kind of just dragged it into the software and this is how it came up. So before I start to edit it, I want to resize it. And because I want it to stay the same scale, I'm gonna hold the shift key before I change the size. I'm gonna click and drag it to move it to the artboard. And now I'm just gonna zoom in so we can have a better view. Now I've selected the image and the next step in this process is to do an image trace. So at the top we have our image trace button. If you don't see that on your Adobe Illustrator software, you can just type it in in the search bar. But we're gonna hit image trace and it's gonna load. Now, if we look over to where it says preset, it has default already highlighted, we want to move it down to 16 colors. That's gonna give us the most detail in terms of our laser cutting. It does take a second to load. Now we have our image traced. The next thing to do is to highlight tracing result with outlines. Now we can see all the detail is given the image. So we're going to do expand. So now it's highlighted all of, those pic all of those lines for us to edit specifically. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep everything highlighted and change the color of those lines. So I've clicked the color editing box and there are no colors popping up. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is to hold the shift key and then press it again. So now we have our RGB colors pulled up and we're going to do 255 blue because that is the color our laser cutter recognizes as etching. So we've got it at 255. The next step is to change the stroke. So we're gonna change that to 0 0.001. And now we have our blue outlines. So the next part of this process is we actually want our butterfly to be completely cut out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the image. We're gonna go up to object at the top and we're going to scroll down to ungroup. That's gonna give us the ability to edit each line individually. So now that it's ungrouped, you can see I've just selected the outer outline of the butterfly. So since I want it to be cut out, I need to change the color of these lines. In the Universal Laser Cutter software, the color for actually cutting out a design is red. So I'm going to change that color to, that stroke color to red 255, and the rest of the settings will be set to zero. And again, that needs, the stroke needs to be 0.001. And if you don't have the actual cut line set to completely red, then it's just going to etch. It's not going to completely cut out your design. So that is really important to remember when you actually want to cut the full thing out. So you can't see it unless we zoom in, but there's a very thin red line going around the outline of our butterfly. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the software our image by printing it. So we're gonna go to file and print. And we're just gonna go ahead and print. And it automatically will be sent to the universal laser system software. 
And so we're just gonna open it here. And in a second, it's gonna load with our blue lines. So now our image has been uploaded to our Universal Cutter software. And just keep in mind that the more detail your design has, the longer it may take to load into the software. So now that we have our design set up on the computer, we are going to actually set up the laser cutters themselves. Our laser cutters will not even turn on unless the laser cooling air system is turned on and also the vacuum system. So this is the nozzle for our laser cooling air and we just wanna turn that on. And for the vacuums, we're gonna turn it on right down here and now it's on. And you wanna make sure the, that the power button is on, which ours is already on. So here we have our scrap bin of materials. So in case you're working on a smaller project and you realize that you can use something from here, it's a great resource and you can just grab what you need and it's free. Or you can buy new material up front in the lobby. So if you're interested in getting a fresh piece you can come to our lobby. We have laser materials for sale and the price is on the top right here. Maple. Okay. Woo! So I'm gonna load our material into the laser cutter and I wanna make sure that it is aligned in the top left corner just so the measurements are accurate. So the next step I'm gonna do is make sure our laser is actually positioned correctly so that the cut is as detailed and accurate as possible. Before we start moving the laser head around, we wanna make sure that the laser table height is correct so that it doesn't run into our material. So you wanna just give it a quick visual check and make sure before you start moving around the laser head that it's not gonna run into any tall material. So I'm going to move the laser head out so I can get the right measurements before we start printing. So click the focus view button, and then after you're gonna click just the middle of your project. That will bring the laser head out and then you can set the height. We have this focus tool at each laser, and what we do is we use it to check the height of the laser before we start printing. So we can see that the table height is not matching the laser, so we want to raise the table. Okay, so over here on the screen, you're gonna select Z, and then you're going to adjust the table height with the arrows. So we've got our design set and we've got our height set. So now we're gonna close the lid and get the laser settings. So now we're going to adjust the laser settings. So before we do anything else, we need to edit the settings to make sure everything is cut appropriately. So we're gonna go up to the materials database tab and we're gonna tell the system that we are cutting wood. So we're gonna go to natural, wood, hardwood, and we are using maple today. So sometimes it will automatically tell you, it will automatically input the dimension of the material you're using but it didn't in this case, but I just know off the top of my head um, the size of the material that I'll be using. So I inputted that at the material thickness. I'm gonna press apply and then okay. And then we're gonna go back to settings, go to manual control. And so here our vector line where it's going to be cut out. We're gonna do power 100, we're gonna bring the speed down to about 2.5. And you can have the option to turn off the Z axis, but I usually leave it on for my projects when I manually input the material thickness. So you're gonna press set and apply. And then now I have two other colors that I have to um, pay attention to which are blue and black so we're going to edit the blue as well so depending on how you want your design to come out uh, this is completely up to you of the settings you are going to align for the blue and black so I'm just gonna do 50% power now I'll do 80% power and 50% speed Thank you. 
butterfly. And then the last one is the black setting and it's on 80% power, 100% speed. And I'm just going to leave that there and apply and okay. And now we're ready to cut and all you have to do is hit the big green button. So here at First Build, we do have community hours for community members to use our lasers. So just keep in mind that bigger projects might take a longer time and you can't just leave First Build with this running. You need to make sure that your laser job is complete before community hours end. So that took two hours, which was way longer than expected. So just make sure when you come in and work on a project that you set aside the right amount of time because we can't run these lasers overnight. Check it out. We lost the antennae. Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it, but it just sounded weird when I said it. Antenna, someone's gonna be like, it's antennae. We lost the antennas. <laughs> so, we lost the antennae. <laughs> that felt weird. <laughs> Either way, we, we have lost the entomologists out there. Yeah. Okay, so we lost the antennae or antennas. I'm not sure if there are any entomologists out there who wanna correct me, let me know, but we lost them. Yeah, they were so skinny, they were probably gonna break anyways. So this is just one way to do it, but we highly encourage anyone who wants to come to use the equipment to watch some videos on YouTube and look at tutorials outside of this one. Of course, we'll be here to help if you have any questions, so just come on down. Let us know if there's any other tutorials you wanna see. Catch you next time. <laughs>